Good afternoon. Of course, all eyes on Hurricane Laura, which intensified so much last night and this morning, a strong category three storm now, and you can see the wind field ex is expanding about 500 miles across. We're of course getting clouds from it, and we do have some impacts for southeast Louisiana, but the hurricane force winds are here confined to the center of the storm. Of course, where the strongest winds are going to be. The oranges and yellows are tropical storm force. The lighter tropical storm force would be in yellow here, and those will be possible along our coast where officially there are some of those uh, tropical storm warnings in effect. The hurricane force winds are forecast to mainly go toward Lake Charles and then will go farther to the north. But we are expecting, of course, the movement toward the Louisiana Texas state line late tonight overnight, maybe as a category four storm. It has winds of 125 miles per hour max sustained winds right now and is expected to maybe strengthen a bit before it makes landfall. Here is the Saffir Simpson hurricane wind scale. Category three is up to 129 miles per hour, 130 plus would be category four. And just a little history, category four landfall for Louisiana. The last one was Betsy in 1965. It was long considered a three at landfall, but was reassessed and assigned category four last year. In 1969, category five, Camille did brush Southern Plaquemines Parish before going toward Pass Christiane. And the last category four landfall in the U.S was 2017 Harvey north of Corpus Christi, Texas. Here's what to expect in our part of Louisiana from Laura. A few tornadoes possible today, windy conditions today, and rain of one to uh, four or five inches. I wanted to show you our storm surge, which is mainly to the west of the Mississippi River. We're still expecting those four to seven feet of storm surge, but look at what might reach southwest Louisiana, possibly up to 15 to 20 foot storm surge around this part of Cameron Parish for Hurricane Rita. Remember, it was 12 to 18 feet. Um, incredible damage with that. Actually, what we are looking at now for live radar is um, shower and thunderstorm activity, especially confined along the coast. And there is now a severe thunderstorm warning in this yellow shaded box for high wind gusts as this rain band does move through around Dulac and getting toward Homa and Thibodeau eventually. So if you're in this area, be prepared for some heavy rain as this heavy band does move off to the north and northwest along with some high wind gusts. So severe thunderstorm warning in effect now for that part toward the southwest of New Orleans, of course, and near the coast. Today we are at a severe risk that level two of five for a few tornadoes possible in the yellow shading area. We're also at a marginal risk of some flooding rains. Those rain bands will be really heavy where they set up. Overall, the European model has us all the way through Saturday with about an inch of rain. Many of us may see about that much, but we'll have to watch for those thin lines of rain that come through, maybe with some heavy rain. That's what's prompting that flash flood watch off to the west. And there are higher totals of maybe five to 10 plus inches of rain for southwest Louisiana. The GFS has a little more for us up to about two to three inches. Right now in New Orleans, you can kind of feel something's going on. Our temperatures are in the upper 80s, feeling like 99, the dew point pretty high, and it is breezy. Our winds are from the east up to 25 miles per hour or so right now, and they will likely continue strong all the way through tomorrow. I showed you that wind advisory for gusts of up to 40 or 45 miles per hour, and that goes until tomorrow evening as of course Laura will be to our west and then eventually working to the north. Wind gusts have been close to 40 miles per hour recently. And let me show you our precision cast with our rain. So it's going to be passing showers for a lot of us, long periods without rain for southeast Louisiana. But again, the main thing we'll watch for is going to be those rain bands. So this will take us through tonight. Maybe not that much rain, but where they are, again, it could be heavy. Lots of heavy rain approaching southwest Louisiana and southeast Texas. Watch what happens tomorrow. We start off somewhat quiet, but we're going to watch for this big band to maybe spread over us tomorrow. So as we've been saying, we may have the bulk of our rain possibly come tomorrow for some of our spots around New Orleans and the North Shore. And then by Friday, we'll continue with a chance for rain. One thing we're going to watch for with the coastal flooding will be the fact that these winds stay fairly strong, mainly from the south through tonight and tomorrow. So it may not be till late tomorrow that our winds begin to ease. You can see by then 
11 p.m. Thursday, they may be back to about 15 or so miles per hour, gusting to 20. And eventually by Friday, we will see them come in from a different direction as Laura finally swings off to the north and northeast. But when those waters rise along our coast uh, tonight and into tomorrow, they may stay high for a while. Uh, so we'll have to wait for those to go down by the end of the week. Our rainfall uh, forecast for today is about 60%, 50, 60%. Some of us may not get too much, and then it does increase tomorrow. By this weekend, we'll be a little more back to normal, especially by Sunday. Alexandra, thank you. The Saints just wrapped up practice, getting in a workout outside before the effects of Laura hit our area. Doug Mouton is live in Metairie. Doug?